Hi everyone, welcome to the RPP Resonance Chemistry. Now let us continue our lectures on the aromaticity. Today we are going to deal with uh, some of the previous year problems which are given in the previous year CSAR exam, which are given in the previous year CSAR exam. Okay, now I'll explain each and every problem in aromatic topic. Okay, now let's move on to the first problem. So the, the problem among the carbocations given below. So, which is the correct uh, representation, which is the correct labeling, okay, this is the, in, like, uh, June 2011 question, June 2011 question. Now, let's move on to the problem. So, among the carbocations, the first carbocation, so this is the first carbocation, so two hydrogens with cation. So, the original structure of compound like this, so this is the, like, an original structure, okay. Now here double bond, double bond, double bond, cation. Here it is the two hydrogens. These are the two hy represented hydrogens. So this is the like, a, these all pi electrons with one carbocation, it is participated in the delocalization, with, which is participated in the delocalization. Now the sp3 carbon atom exactly vertical to the delocalized orbital, exactly vertical to the delocalized orbital. Then the case, so the delocalized electrons are six electrons, six pi electrons, which obeys the four and pi, four and plus two pi electronic system. So whenever a system which obeys the 4 and plus 2 pi electronic system, all are sp2, exceptionally one is sp3, those sp3 which is uh, put, uh, exactly vertical to the those delocalized orbital system, then it's said to be homoaromatic. Then it's said to be homoaromatic. So A is homo. Now let's move on to the B. So this is the system. Okay, now here how many electrons are there? 2 pi bonds, that means 4 electrons. 4 electrons which obeys the 4 and pi electronic system. So positive means 0 electrons, 4 plus 0, 4 electrons. 4 electrons which obeys the 4 and pi electronic system. All are sp2, delocalized. Then it is B is anti-system, anti-aromatic in nature. Okay, now let's move on to the final system that is the cyclopropenyl cation. Cyclopropenyl cation. Now here, 1 pi bond means 2 pi electrons, positive means 0 electrons, totally it is 2 pi electrons. So those 2 pi electrons which obeys the 4n plus 2 pi electronic system. Whenever n is equal to 0, then it obeys the 4n plus 2 pi electronic system. So that's why it is aromatic in nature. So A is homo, B is anti, C is the aromatic. Well, let's, let's look down the options. A is homo, B is anti, C is aroma. So this is the first option. So the remaining all are wrong options. So the first option is correct for the like a uh, June 2011 CSIR question. June 2011 CSIR question. Now let's move on to the another problems. Okay. Now the second problem, which is given in like a uh, December 2011. So among the A to C aromatic compounds are okay. Now the A to C, how many aromatic compounds are present? So this is the first compound. So we know that a uh, simple definition: a monocyclic poly double bonded system. A monocyclic poly unsaturated system. Simply it is called as annually. Okay. So this is the like one, two, three, four, five, five pi bonds are there. Ten pi electrons are. So how many pi electrons are there? Those system is called as a particular particular aniline. So here 10 pi electrons are there. That means 10 carbon atoms are there. So simply it is called as 10 aniline. 10 aniline. In case of 10 aniline, it obeys the two types of isomerism. One is cis isomer and another one is trans isomer. So here two hydrogens are opposite to each other. That's why it is a trans isomerism. So due to the trans annular interaction, trans annular interaction between the two hydrogens, so the planarity will be the planarity will be destroyed. So due to the destruction of a planarity, due to the uh, like a deep de planarity of a uh, like a ten aniline trans ten aniline system, it is non aromatic in nature. So the first system is non aromatic. Now let's move on to the second system. So this is the structure. Now double bond, double bond, double bond, double bond. So, which is uh, far away from the those conjugated system. Now, here 5 pi bonds are there. That means 10 pi electrons. 10 pi electrons obeys the 4n plus 2 pi electronic system. So, it obeys the 4n plus 2 pi electronic system. Here, oxygen atom far away from the delocalized conjugated uh, conjugated systems. That's why it is uh, all our sp2. So, that's why it is aromatic in nature. Now, the third one, we know that uh, the naphthalene, the naphthalene is a uh, 
absolutely aromatic system. Why? Because here 10 pi electrons are there. So which obeys the 4n plus 2 pi electron system. So that's why it is aromatic in nature. Aromatic in nature. So A is non-aromatic, B is aromatic, C is aromatic. Then B and C only aromatic in nature. Option A is A, B, C. So this is wrong. Option B is A and B. This is also wrong. Option C is B and C. This is correct answer. So option number C is correct for the uh, like a second question. Now let's move on to the third question. So this, that is the like the correct order of acidity of compounds A to C is the correct order of acidity of compounds A to C. Okay. Now they are given in the three types of compound. Now let us discuss the like those corresponding systems. Here it is the like a carbonyl compound, carbonyl compound. So here it is the like a benzene compound with carbonyl. Okay, now the final system is a four membered ring OH, OH, double bond O, double bond O. We know that this is the squiric acid, squiric acid. Okay, so what is the meaning of acidity? So the substance which radially donates their proton, that is called more acidic, the more acidic substance. Okay, so among these three, which one will readily give, will readily donate their protons? Then it is called more acidic substance, then it is considered as a more acidic substance. Okay, now here it is the squiric acid. So whenever the squiric acid which forms the like a dianion, so it gives the this type of uh, resonance. So this is the dianion system. So the dianions will use the these much of resonating structures. O minus, O minus, double bond O, double bond O. Again it is participated like this. Now again it gives the these type of resonating structures. O minus, O minus, double bond O and so on. It, it gives the these much of uh, resonating structures. When it is gives the these much of resonating structures, whenever it is appears as a dianions, when it is possible, it forms the dianions, the losing of two protons from squiric acid, the losing of two protons from squiric acid, then it acts as a dianion. Those dianion very stable due to the resonance, due to the resonance. That's why squiric acid, it, it acts as more acidic in nature, like it is H2SO4. It acts as like H2SO4. That's why squaric acid is more acidic in nature. It's more acidic in nature due to the its resonance. Uh, simply, it is nothing but uh, it's aromatic in nature. Let us con let us uh, consider those systems whether it is aromatic or not. Okay. Now here, so this is the like a squaric acid OH OH. This is the double bond O double bond O. So these double bond O donation uh, like notations like O plus and minus plus and minus that means you have two cations so the four member ring with the two cations that means two pi electrons so two pi electrons obeys the four n plus two pi electronic system all are sp2 then it is aromatic in nature so squaric acid is aromatic in nature squaric acid is aromatic in nature now let's move on to the another thing so here it is the two carbonyl systems two are the active methylene carbonyl systems so whenever a methylene group methylene group is nothing but ch2 a methylene group binded between the two carbonyl compounds then it is called active methylene group here it having the both having the like a carbonyl a carbonyl functionality okay both having the carbonyl functionality so it gives the this type of uh, like a resonating compound double bond o double bond o minus this is also like that double bond o double bond o minus these are the systems okay now let us assume so here it is the carbonyl so these carbonyl will participate in the resonance so whenever it is it, it undergoes the like a this type of a conjugation o minus double bond o like double bond o o minus double bond o double bond o so let us imagine here it is the positive so here the negative is there positive is there let us calculate the total number of pi bonds 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 pi bond means 8 electrons, positive means 0 electrons, 8 plus 0, 8 pi electrons, 8 pi electrons obeys the 4n plus 2 pi electronic system, 4n plus 2 pi electronic system, then 4n plus 2 pi electronic system, sorry, 8 pi electrons, it obeys the 4n pi electronic system, so the 4n pi electronic system is nothing but anti-aromatic. So the second system is anti-aromatic. Second system is anti-aromatic. Now the first system, so here it is the negative. So it is participated like this and it gives the this type of system. Okay. Now here it is the negative. Here it is the positive. So positive and negative, that means here one pi bond. Positive means zero electrons. One pi bond means two electrons. Two plus zero, two pi electrons. 
2 pi electrons obeys the 4n plus 2 pi electronic system but uh, all carbon atoms in a ring are not sp2 all carbon atoms in a ring are not sp2 due to that uh, it is non aromatic in nature non aromatic in nature so the aromatic compounds are more acidic we know that aromatic compounds are more acidic that's why so aromatic compounds stability strength based on the aromatic compound stability strength the acidity order of these three was discovered okay now we know that the stability aromatic is greater than non aromatic is greater than that of anti aromatic is greater than that of anti aromatic so again aromaticity homo aromaticity non aromaticity anti aromaticity that is the stability order the, among these three which is aromatic in nature so the spheric acid is aromatic in nature spheric acid is aromatic in nature then after which is the non aromatic system so the first a or b a is the non aromatic but b is the anti aromatic so the non aromatic is more stable than that of the anti aromatic so that's why a is b so this is the like uh, acid uh, like uh, aromaticity order so that's why it is also acidity order acidity order also okay so this is the c a b so option number a b c is wrong like b c a is wrong but c a b is correct b a c is wrong so this is the december 2012 question okay now let's move on to the some other problems now let us discuss the fourth problem among the following compound which has the lowest energy barrier for the cis trans isomerization which has the lowest energy barrier for the cis trans isomerization so that means uh, which which readily uh, rotates the cis to trans conversion so here it is the like a cis compound a a b b okay so whenever it is isomerized isomerization takes place uh, cis compound becomes a trans uh, trans compound becomes a cis so when it is possible whenever the free rotation is available then it is possible for the cis trans isomerization so when it is a free rotation is available so that in case of full valence in case of full valence the compound which which becomes a, like a single bond that means here the full valence are readily like a uh, readily dissociated like a one is positive and another one is uh, negative so the positive and the negative if both becomes uh, uh, both becomes aromatic then it has the highest dipole moment and it it forms the like a positive and a negative with a single bond so those single bonds readily rotation takes place so that means whenever a system of a full valine a system of a full valine which gives the like a, both rings are aromatic in nature both rings are aromatic both rings are aromatic in nature then it is readily converts the cis to trans isomerization cis to trans isomerization now let's move on to the like a prediction of a aromatic compound of a full valine so the first compound which gives the like a rotation like this let us assume here it is the positive here it is the negative here it is the positive one system is aromatic but another one is anti aromatic so that's why it is non aromatic system now here let us assume one is the negative and one is the positive so the negative is aromatic but positive is anti aromatic so anti aromaticity will destabilizes the systems okay now again that another system so here it is the like a uh, uh, two possibilities but this possibility is major why because the bottom one will, will gives the like at the bottom one positive negative so the bottom one will gives the aromatic in nature and the top one is also aromatic in nature so that's why it readily forms the new cis single bond with a negative and a positive charge so those positive will participate in the above ring of aromaticity so these negative participated in the below ring aromaticity then it is easily uh, rotates the cis bond so that's why here it requires the lowest energy barrier for the cis trans isomerization so the option number c is correct option number c is correct now here in case of uh, like of option d so here it is the one is negative another one is positive so the positive is aromatic but negative is anti aromatic so that's why this is destabilized so the option number c is correct for the low lowest energy barrier transformation or isomerization so now let's move on to the problem number 5 
So that is given in December 2014. Very simple problem. The compound that is anti-aromatic in nature. So they are given in the four, four compounds. Let us imagine or let us calculate the dose pi electrons. That is very, very clear. So the second system itself, it is, uh, uh, it is, it is not aromatic or anti-aromatic. So due to the non-planarity, so second is non-aromatic. So this is ruled out. Now the third system, here it is the sp3 carbon atom is there, that's why it is also non-aromatic. So this is also ruled out. So second and third are ruled out. Now the first and fourth options are remaining. So this will give the, this type of uh, like a quasi-aromaticity -aromat, quasi system. So here 2 pi electrons, so that means all are sp2 delocalization takes place. So 2 pi is 4n plus 2 pi electronic system. So that's why it is aromatic in nature aromatic in nature now in case of boron so here it is the two pi electrons two pi bonds that means a four pi electrons four electrons boron having the like a 2s2 2p1 so this is the boron valency configuration outermost valency configuration whenever boron first excited state it forms the like a, this type of system so still it having the one vacant orbital these three bonds are participated in the bond formation and under it undergoes the sp2 hybridization till it having the one vacant orbital those vacant orbital cannot donate in any pair of electrons but it is it can participate in the delocalization so here the boron atom participated in the delocalization but uh, it it not having the any more electrons so that's why total electronic system is four four pi electronic system which obeys the four n pi electronic system 4n pi electronic system is anti-aromatic. So this is anti-aromatic. Okay. Now this is the option number. Option A is anti-aromatic. So option A is correct. So B is 2. 2 is non-aromatic. 3 is also non-aromatic. But D is aromatic. So they are asking about anti-aromaticity. So that's why option A is correct. Now let's move on to the problem number 6. This is very interesting problem. Now let's move on to the like problem number six. So that is the, the compound that gives the precipitate and warming with A plus AG and O3. Okay, so which compound will readily gives the precipitate and warming with AG and O3? Now let us take the any, any type of example. So here it is the like a tertiary butyl halide, tertiary butyl bromide, which treated with silver nitrate. Okay, so which for produce the corresponding carbocation and uh, the negative anion that is the a cation with along with a nitrate ion plus agbr so this agbr will be precipitated the agbr will be precipitated on the bottom of the test tube or bottom of the reaction vessel okay so whenever a compound which which gives the more stable cation which gives the more stable carbocation so those system will readily will readily gives the precipitation reaction with um, any compound with uh, AG and O3, sorry, with AG and O3. Now let us uh, uh, check the A, B, C, D options. Which one readily gives the like more stable carbocation? Which one readily gives the more stable carbocation? Now option number A. So this is the like a uh, bromobenzene. So whenever bromine will re uh, rotate it, so here positive. So in case of bromines, cannot create the positive charge on benzene. So this is ruled out cannot create the positive charge on the benzene that's why it is ruled out why because so here it is participated in the plus m effect that's why here it increases the electronic cloud cannot decreases the electronic cloud so a is ruled out cannot form the positive charge now in case of b so here it is possible so let us assume here it is the possibility for the like a cation but uh, this cation here for n pi electronic system so 4n pi electronic system is nothing but anti-aromatic. So anti-aromatic compound will give the least stable. So the least stable compound cannot form the like AGBR precipitation. Least stable compound cannot form the AGBR precipitation. That's why B is also ruled out. Now the option number C. So option number C will produce the very very much stable carbocation that is called a tropelium carbocation. The tropelium carbocation which is surrounded by the NO3 minus. Whenever it is participated like this. So this is the more stable carbocation. So that's why it readily forms the like a AGBR precipitate. AGBR as a precipitate. So this is the correct option. Now let us check the final option. So that is the like a 
4 bromo pyridine 4 bromo pyridine so now it, let us imagine so if it here it creates the positive charge it is possible here is the more electronic cloud on the pyridine ring it cannot create the positive charge on the pyridine so that's why it cannot gives the most stable carbocation so here c has given the most stable carbocation so those the stable carbocationic system will readily participated in the will readily precipitated AGBR will readily precipitated AGBR. Now let us discuss the another problems. I think it is very clear. So this is given in June 2015. June 2015. Okay. Now this is the problem number seven. Correct match the for product of the reactions in a column A with the properties in column B. Okay. Now the products of the column A and the properties of the column B was matched, correctly matched. So they are given in the four options like a uh, P, A, uh, like a, this is the P, Q, R, S, like one, two, three, four, like that. Let us assume, okay, whatever they, they are given. Okay, so P1, Q2, R3, S4, or P2, R3, Q1, S, like the S4, like that. Okay, so now let us imagine the problems. The first problem, so this is the like a eight, eight member ring. 8-membered ring uh, treated with uh, potassium. So the potassium which uh, lost their protons and it forms the like a potassium cation. Okay, so that means here it releasing of electrons, metal releases the electrons. Generally, the system will undergo the like a uh, resonance that is the like here it is the negative charge over there, positive charge over there. So those positives, positive, that means here zero electrons, positive can gain the two electrons, positive can gain the two electrons and it forms the negative charge. Whenever a positive system becomes a negative, so it gains the two electrons, then only it is possible to form the like a negative charge. So that's why two metals will produce as the, these type of system, negative, 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 negative. Okay, so whenever this is the first product, this is the first system product. Now let's move on to the second. So this is the second system. Second system will treat it with the H plus. So H plus means here it is the like a rotation. So now it creates the negative charge over there, positive charge over here. So here already one proton is there. So whenever the negative charge will abstract the proton, now here it creates the, this type of product. So double bond here already one proton is there, another proton is created, another proton is abstracted. Now this is the second one is like a third system, here it is the system, this is the system, here it is the like above the plane hydrogens, above the plane hydrogens. So this is the system, whenever it is a heating condition, that, is, that means thermal conditions. So this is the like a electrocyclization reaction, it is a ring opening, electrocyclic ring opening reactions, okay. Now here it is participated electrocyclic ring opening reactions. But it is possible for the like a trans compound or cis compound. So now I'll write the like a correct product. Now after some time I'll explain the the product stereochemistry. So here it is the like a hydrogen over there, hydrogen over there. So one hydrogen towards the upward direction, another hydrogen towards the downward direction. So that means uh, here it is the one is upward and another one is downward. They cannot they cannot uh, like a they cannot cross it over. They cannot cross they or cannot cross it to each other. That's why those are transposition okay so now here these two hydrogens are cis cis compounds becomes a trans cis becomes a trans that is the disrotatory uh, disrotatory medium now let's move on to the like an uh, electrocyclic uh, very simple reactions uh, 4n so this is the like a thermal reaction and photochemical reaction so 4n thermally can allowed like a photochemically disallowed disrotation in case of 4n plus 2 thermally can thermally like disallowed photochemically can allowed Okay, so the can means retention of the configuration. So retention means a cis becomes a cis or trans becomes a trans. But in case of this, will gives the inversion of the configuration. That means whenever we'll take the like a cis compound, it gives the trans product. Or we'll take the trans compound, we'll get the like a cis product. That is the inversion of the configuration. Now here it is the like a one sigma bond, two pi bonds. Totally sigma bond means two electrons, pi bond means four electrons. Four plus two, six electrons are participated. Six electrons is nothing but four n plus two pi electronic system. So the four n plus two pi electronic system under heating condition it allows the this this is nothing but an inversion of the configuration so that's why so the cis compounds becomes a trans cis compounds becomes a trans this is the like a third product 
Now let's again uh, we'll, uh, we'll assume the, the fourth product. So the potassium that means in similarly one of the bond becomes uh, like a di dianions. One of the bond becomes dianions. In the previous case we already uh, like uh, explained. So this is the, these are the four four electronic systems. Let us match the like uh, properties of the column B. Properties of the column B. So here how many electrons are there? Three pi bonds. That means six electrons. So two pi two negative charges. Four electrons. Uh, Ten pi electrons. 10 pi electrons which obeys the 4n plus 2 that's why it is aromatic in nature that's why it is aromatic now here one sp3 carbon is there that is exactly uh, like exactly vertical to the delocalized orbital that's why it is home aromatic which is already explained in the like first first problem now the third one so here it obeys the like it it forms the it undergoes the like electrocyclization reaction but it gives the like a uh, Cyc uh, like a cyclo octatetrine so cyclo octatetrine it having the like this type of tub shape so due to the tub shape here it is non planar compound non planar compounds are non aromatic in nature non aromatic in nature now here it is the dianions so here 1 2 3 4 5 6 double bonds 7 8 that means a negative also to a pair of electrons that's why 7 and 8 16 electrons okay 16 electrons 16 electrons means a 4 and 5 electronic system so that's why it is anti aromatic anti aromatic let us uh, uh, let, let us match the things the first reaction p it is aromatic in nature p is one now the second one so q q is homo aromatic in nature that means the q is four now the next one is uh, r so r is the like a uh, non aromatic r is the non aromatic that means uh, r is equal to 3 now the final one is D. D is nothing but anti-aromatic. D is two. D is two. Very simple reactions. Whenever you know the concept, definitely you'll get the marks from the uh, like any competitive exam. This is the seventh question. Now let us discuss the some of the problems. Like a uh, final two problems which are given in the recent CSAR. Recent uh, CSAR. Okay, now let's move on to the these problems. This is given in June 2018. So this is given in June 2019. June 2019. So these are the four marker questions. So this is the two marker question. The correct statement about the following species. Okay, so both are aromatic. A aroma, B anti aroma. A is non aroma, B is anti aroma. So D is aroma. D option D. A is aroma, B is homo aroma. Homo aromatic. Okay, now let us discuss the solution. So here, a yes, system it having the like this is the system. So three double three double bonds with the two cations. Three double bonds means six pi electrons. Two cation two cations that is zero electrons. So totally six pi electrons, which obeys the four n plus two pi electronic system. So that's why it is aromatic in nature. There is no like a non planarity here. It is the planarity. That's why it is aromatic in nature. Now in case of the second system, so this is the second system. Okay, now here it is the lone pairs are there. So in case of lone pairs, if a heteroatom having the lone pairs, so it, it having the more than one lone pair, but only one lone pair is calculated whenever it is not participated in the double bond. That means uh, whenever those heteroatom cannot participate in the double bond, then only we will calculate the those lone pairs. If it is in single bond, then only we will calculate it. So it is in the double bond, it, it is not calculated. Okay, now here it is the single bond, that's why we will calculate the pi electrons. Three pi bonds. That means uh, 6 pi electrons from 3 pi bonds, so 2 pi electrons from lone pairs, so totally 8 pi electronic system. So that is the 4n pi electronic system. 4n pi electronic system that is anti-aromatic in nature. Anti-aromatic. First is aromatic, second one is anti-aromatic. A aroma, B is anti-aroma. So which is correct option? B is correct option. B is the like a correct option. Now let's move on to the final question in CSIR June 2019. CSIR June 2019. It is very interesting question. Now let us discuss the final question. So the question is, so the, among the following, the correct statement is, the correct statement of the following. Among the following, the correct statement about the benzene ring. Sorry, not the following, about the benzene. Okay, benzene molecular orbital. Okay, so the option A, only lowest energy molecular orbital is doubly degenerated. 
So only LUMO is doubly degenerated, only HOMO is doubly degenerated, both HOMO and LUMO is doubly degenerated. Now before going to the question, we have some knowledge. So, so let us discuss the simple thing. So this is the benzene. So like uh, based on the like frost muslin theory, so the benzene system like this. So this is the like energies. Okay, based on that, we will write the energy under. Okay, so whenever it passes the like horizontal diameter and vertical diameter, so below the horizontal is molecular bonding molecular orbital, above the uh, it is uh, anti bonding molecular orbital. So falling on the like a horizontal diameter, that is the non bonding. So there is no non bonding molecular orbital, only bonding molecular orbital and anti bonding molecular orbitals are there. So this is the like a simple system, this is the like a lowest energy level and the highest energy level. This is the system. Okay. So these two are the bonding molecular orbital. These two are the antibonding. So simply psi one, psi two, psi three, psi four, psi five. So this is the psi six. This is the systems. Now we having the benzene means three pi bonds. That is six pi electrons. So let us pair up the pi electrons. One, two, three. Equal energy orbitals are present. So after half filling, then only pair up takes place. Then only pair up takes place. Here we have the six electrons. Six electrons are filled in. All are filled in the molecule like a bonding molecular orbital only bonding molecular orbital only. So whenever the system the any energy level which uh, filled with uh, like electrons which filled with electrons, okay, at the lowest energy level. So simply so here it is the lowest energy level. Then then uh, at most lowest energy level. Then most uh, higher energy level. That is the electron filling method. Okay. Now the energy the orbital molecular orbital having the highest occupied uh, highest occupied molecular orbital so this is the highest energy which are occupied uh, which orbitals are occupied so that's why this is the like a highest energy so the second energy which is called homo so this is the homo orbital this is homo that means highest occupied molecular orbital so the uh, electrons occupation it is the highest energy that is called homo again lumo is nothing but uh, lowest unoccupied which are having the empty so this is the lowest orbital uh, this is the empty orbital these are the empty orbital so among these two which is the lowest energy these only lowest energy that's why now the second energy is the lowest energy this is the simply lumo this is the simply lumo okay again according to the options uh, only lowest energy is degenerate, doubly degenerated. So before going to the options, degenerate, we, we, we want to know the like term of degenerate. So degenerate means equal energy orbital. So if only one equal energy orbital, it is a mono degenerated. If equal energy orbital 2 is there, then it is doubly degenerated. Which degenerated? Doubly degenerated. If three orbitals are there, triply degenerated. Triply degenerated. This is called degeneracy. This is called degeneracy. Now, so according to the option, only lowest energy molecular orbital is doubly degenerated. So let us assume. So here it is the doubly degenerated. Only one orbital is there. So that's why it is doubly degenerated. It is not doubly degenerated. So option number A is wrong. Now let's move on to the option B. So only LUMO is doubly degenerated. Only LUMO. That is the question. Okay. So this is the LUMO. So it is the two equal energy orbital. That means it is doubly degenerated. So they are asking about only LUMO is doubly degenerated. So LUMO is doubly degenerated. But not only LUMO is doubly degenerated. HOMO is also doubly degenerated. So that's why B is wrong. Now again, only HOMO is doubly degenerated. HOMO is doubly degenerated, but cannot only HOMO is doubly degenerated. So that's why C is also wrong. Now the final thing, both HOMO and LUMO are doubly degenerated. Both HOMO and LUMO are. So this is the like doubly degenerated orbital. This is the doubly degenerated orbital. Both HOMO and LUMO are doubly degenerated orbital. Okay. So that's all for this video. This having the like uh, most of previous year CSI problems from since 2011 to 2019 June okay I think this is very helpful for you guys if you like the video please share subscribe and comment the below comment box thank you so much for watching